Atlan, the MD at GHCL, joins us on the show right now to talk about their earnings. Uh, Mrs. Atlan, morning, uh, robust numbers there. How much was the volume growth in both inorganic chemicals as well as home textiles? And what kind of pricing improvement uh, have you seen on a sequential basis? Like you rightly said, uh, uh, our numbers are uh, the good numbers. Uh, in the profit after tax, we have grown by around 44%. And if you look at the segment wise, like your textile, and uh, uh, we have done a good job on the textile side from a EBIT of around a crore a uh, year back. Now we are around 34 crore. On the, on the soda side or the inorganic chemical side, we have approximately around 11% uh, uh, growth into the, into the, uh, into the EBITDA, uh, which is approximately around 176 crore. Uh, our volume has grown by around 4% and our pricing is approximately around 7 to 8% has grown as compared to last quarter. Mm. Uh, as part of the soda ash capex, uh, you had production gain of 9,000 MT in quarter that just got wrapped up. Update us on the incremental capacity. No, like uh, we said in the past, uh, the incremental capacity will come next year, uh, which brownfield expansion we have taken a year back. Some benefit of that definitely has been seen in this quarter. And going forward, you will see that uh, growth in the volume by around 100,000 tons uh, in a year. Post this uh, capex, uh, what kind of growth uh, in soda ash uh, should investors expect? Because I believe your EBITDA range remains 31, 32 percent. Can you better that? Yeah, EBITDA, if you uh, look at the soda ash business uh, in this quarter as well, we have uh, approximately around 35 percent EBITDA uh, number. And uh, we believe that uh, this kind of a number we will be able to sustain going forward as well. Okay. As part of Soda Ash CapEx, you had production gain of about almost 9,000 million tons in the quarter gone by. Uh, update us on the incremental capacity that will come on stream in the coming quarters. Is pricing environment looking stable for the next 12 months? Yeah, pricing uh, situation looks to be stable uh, going forward and uh, soda ice expansion we will have, uh, like I said, uh, every quarter. Uh, approximately around 100,000 tons of extra production will happen in the next uh, 12 months, uh, which is roughly around 25,000 per quarter, which is approximately around, you can say, around 4%, uh, 5% uh, uh, on the total numbers, oh, sorry, 10% of the numbers uh, which we are currently producing. Um. How much growth will come from the consumer business? Consumer business, uh, we, in this quarter, we have approximately around more than 30% of the growth. And we believe that uh, same around 30 to 40% growth uh, going forward, uh, we will be able to see that number. Okay. What is your response to your current product line of edible salt, powered spices and honey? Now, what is the scale-up plans individually for all three? In uh, spices, honey and the salt, uh, like uh, we, uh, we have grown around 34% uh, during this year. Uh, and we believe that, and we have expanded also uh, geographically, we have expanded to the west, as well as we have done some test marketing in the east as well. We believe that going forward, uh, approximately the same kind of a volume growth should, uh, we can expect next year as well. Okay.